This video is sponsored by Revopoint. What you're about to see is the one and only reason why I started 3D printing back in 2019. Around this time I was working with the cars. Mostly I was painting and doing some bodywork if required. Also I did my own project and I did one of my cars, a Honda Civic, from lame family car to something way way cooler. Then I bought another Honda Civic Type R, a lightweight racing car. I plan to do exactly the same with this car, but something happened more in this year. By country, Estonia won VRC. Everybody was hype, including me. The car with Oitanak won the race looked so dope, I wanted to have something like this. So I was planning to do so with my Type R, but I didn't know how. There were nothing on sale what I wanted, so my only option was custom made body parts. But again, how? I was thinking about multiple different things and all those ideas was trash. Till I came across with 3D printing. And I know this is it. This is how I make my Honda Civic the coolest Honda Civic in the world. But I had two problems. First of all, I didn't have 3D printer. And I didn't know anything about it. I solved the first problem instantly. I bought used Creality CRDNS. And then I started learning. It didn't take me long when I understand how to 3D print something. And I also knew how to 3D model. I have used lot of 3D modeling softwares before for multiple reasons. So I was good to go. Well, at least I thought so. Now the problem is the fact that I don't know how to measure the car shapes. Like this fender, there are so many curves in different directions. I have no clue how to get this to my software to add or remove or modify the part. So this was actually the breaking point to this project. And I started making YouTube videos instead. But four years later something changed. Revopoint sent me their new 3D scanner to test this. And then I was thinking, this is it. So, in this video we are going to revisit the project why this YouTube channel even exists today. This hood is from the car I talked about before. We are going to 3D print some type of hood intakes which are designed and 3D printed by me. Completely custom made. Let's see if this is actually possible. We cannot do anything before when we have car hood in my 3D modeling software. So the absolutely first thing to do is scan the whole hood with new Revopoint scanner Miraco. This is a standalone machine. To use this 3D scanner, you don't need to have laptop or smartphone next to you. This is exactly like a camera. Instead of taking picture or video, you take 3D model. So I just started scanning the hood. By the way, I have never held 3D scanner in my hands before. But I can say Revopoint Miraco is so simple to use, I don't need any experience to get started with this one. To increase my odds of success, I have heard before that 3D scanners doesn't enjoy shiny objects. So before the scan, I lightly covered the hood with a cornstarch to give it a matte look. Even though with my first try ever, I failed. And it absolutely makes sense. You see the hood doesn't have any details which make the tracking of the object really hard. Well, impossible, let's be real. But this is nothing special. With the scanner comes this type of things called markers. This makes the tracking of the object possible for 3D scanner. So I just randomly put some markers across the hood and give it another go. This time I succeeded and now I have amazing 3D model of this hood in my 3D scanner. What I can take now to my computer and do whatever I want with it. By the way, this scanner Revopoint Miraco might be the perfect product for you if you are looking for an excellent and affordable 3D scanner. This is just so easy and comfortable to use, even for me who have never held a 3D scanner in my hands before. And I got the perfect result anyway. Also like I told before, it's 100% standalone platform. So you don't need laptop or smartphone next to you. And you can little bit edit the model inside the scanner. Mostly for cleaning up the things that doesn't need to be there. After the first successful scan in my life, I was really surprised how well it picked up every curve, detail and the characteristics from the object. I have seen the process only in the videos and it looks like there are a lot of messing around. I don't know doing 10 passes at the same spot. But I was wrong. At least, it's not the case with the disk scanner. This built really well and the huge touchscreen is not some cheap laggy thing. It feels like smartphone and it's really high quality. It's actually way better than my 2018 smartphone. I'm not specialist in 3D scanning world, but I can say my honest opinion as a beginner. Because it's just so simple to use, I got instantly the result I wanted, without learning days or even weeks how it has to be done. If you are interested in this type of technology or you need the right tool to get the job done, Revo and Miraco is the solution. You find more information linked down below. Now I have the model on my computer and first I took it to mesh mixer to fix those holes. Those holes are the spots where the marker were from the scanning. Fixing those holes in mesh mixer is as simple as it can be. When I got this done, I went to the Fusion 360 and the creative part started. Well, it took me a while to design because I did multiple versions of the model. But the best I think is this one. 
I believe this is not too aggressive, but for sure it give a bit more characteristics to the car, and maybe even some extra horsepower. So I decided to go with this design. First I 3D printed the model with FDM printer. The final product will be printed with ABS-like resin, but to see how it looks in real life, I printed the test model with PLA. I don't know I like it, so let's go to work. Quick recap what just happened. I started by cutting the holes for the new 3D printed intakes. Overall it went well, but I got a little bit too much, so I had to fix this with the body filler. Also the heat produced by the cutting ruined the paint. There is no other way to fix this by repainting the whole hood. This process didn't go as well as I was hoping for. I haven't done this for years and I didn't have the right equipment, so I used my electronic spray gun. This is not professional tool for this job, but it gets the job done when there is no other option. Also I didn't mind to repaint the whole hood because I didn't want to keep this blue color anyway. So I also did the color change. I was not happy with the result at all, so I repainted the whole hood again. Now it looks fine. Not great, but acceptable. Which means it's finally time to install the 3D printed intakes that I also painted to black. To connect them to hood I use a little bit silicone glue. It was impossible to get this out from the tube with this nozzle, so I had to do it a bit messier way. When I covered all side with the silicon, I glued them to the hood. And finally we can see the result for what we have working for the whole video. Honestly, I like it. It's not only better than before, but I do really like it. Of course this is a personal opinion and I believe some of you don't like this at all. It's completely fine, because the whole point of this video was how to make the costume parts by using 3D scanner and 3D printer. Now I know I can use this technique to finish the rest of the car. When I'm going to do so, I don't know, but if I do, I keep you updated. Big thanks for Revopoint for making this video possible, also for you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and see you guys again really soon. Bye!